Pro, welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create these really cool titles. So if I push play, this is the first one here that we're going to be creating in today's video. It looks super cool. You can overlay this on any type of media. So if I push play, this is the second one that we're going to be creating. Really cool and very dynamic for sure. And then the other one here is going to be uh, another flickering style of neon title. These are really easy to use. You would just simply drag and drop them on top of your clips. I want to give a special thanks to Pixel Film Studios for sponsoring today's video. Also, don't forget to check them out on YouTube where they provide their own comprehensive Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials covering a variety of topics. You can visit their YouTube playlist, which I will link down below. So again, a big special thanks to Pixel Film Studios for sponsoring today's video, and be sure to use my coupon code KingPixelPro. Now, I do want to mention that this pack is also M1 compatible, so that is really, really cool. To access the plugin, you're going to go over to the titles and generators over at the top here. You're going to go over to the titles, and you're going to go down to the Pixel Film Studios FCPX Neon titles, and there is a lot of really cool presets. I'm going to go through these very quickly and show you what these are, so I'm going to hide these really awesome effects for the time being. These are going to be your backgrounds that you can also overlay. So you can overlay multiple presets on top of each other to create really interesting and cool effects. So there's going to be that one. Here's the uh, background two, which looks something like this. And that's the one we used for the first title. Uh, we have one that has like a heart background. So you have custom image if you want to use a custom text or a custom logo. Just make sure you're using a PNG image for this one and it'll apply the neon effect to that, which is really cool. So you have fill shapes here as well. So if I hover this and I push play, it'll look something like this. Here we have outline shapes only. So these are gonna be your outline shapes, which are really cool. Again, you can overlay these onto text. You can use this on backgrounds and so on. You have text plus frames. And again, everything here is customizable from the text to the color to the shape. And then you also have just the standard text only neon signs here as well. So you have like this one here, which looks like that. And you have a hundred of those. And I'm going to add it about here. So I'm going to go and find the background first, which is going to be background two. I'm going to drag that above our media and I'm going to trim this down to about here. And then from there, what I want to do is change the color of the background. So right now it's set to red. And I think that's fine how it is. Accent control for that. We have uh, line options, solid lines. You can do rings, right? Or you can do rectangles. I'm gonna go with solid lines. Shape option, it's set to eight. We can do say 12 or 16. Color for that, we're gonna change that to say green. And then line, I think everything else looks pretty good to me. If I go back and I push play, it looks something like that. You may notice the pattern here is kind of almost going like this. So to change that, you can actually go down to pattern controls. So right now it's set to raise. So if we switch this to squares, you're going to notice now it changes. So if I push play, it changes the way it looks. So we're going to go with neon title 54, which is the gooey one, which is one of my favorite ones. So I'm going to drag that right above our media. You can have this start at the very beginning, or you can kind of offset them if you want. I'm going to offset it a little bit. So it starts a little bit before the background, and I'm going to shift these over to about here. You can see that if you overlay them, it gets dark. So you're going to go onto the top and you're going to go over to the inspector tab. You're going to go all the way to the bottom of the first title, the one that's on top, and you're going to go to background controls. The overlay is set to on. So if we have this checked, it removes that dark background overlay. Now, if we have this checked, it will make it dark because we have uh, the background opacity at 95%. So we're going to bring that all the way down to about 15. Desaturation, it desaturates the image. So we're going to Bring that down all the way actually. Cool. So now if I push play, it'll look something like that. Of course, it will look better once it's rendered, but I think that looks good for now. And then we're going to change the title instead of it saying GUI, we're going to change this. Now it's going to say Ferrari. And then the color, we're going to change that to say pink or the outline. So the stroke controls. And then for pattern controls, right now the pattern options are off. If you were to do stroke only, it looks something like that. If we were to do face plus outline, like that, super cool. So we're gonna do that one. I think that one's a little bit too much. So we're gonna go with off. Pattern lighting, you can do darken or brighten. So brighten will make it definitely a lot brighter, especially on certain titles. Some will have a greater effect than others. So just letting you know. Okay, so now if I go back and push play, it'll look something like this. Super cool. And you can see each character kind of animates like that. So again, you can customize the way that everything looks 
from the color to the animation to the speed to the size to the pattern to the stroke width. All right, so this one's going to be the Larry June one, which is the name of the artist for this music video. But we're going to go down to text title 20. So that one's going to be under the very at the very bottom and it's going to be number 20. So this one here, which says fresh lemonade. So I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to drag this one right above here. So if I push play, it'll look like that. Absolutely love the placeholder text. <laughs> I think they're great. So we're going to change the text to Larry June, I believe. Looks like that. And then for the stroke color, we're going to change that from yellow to you can do green. You can do kind of this really cool cyan blue. I think I'm going to go with a dark orange color. I think we'll look perfect for this. You can also change the width of this stroke as well. Uh, offset, you can have it closer to each other or further apart. So we're going to go about a little bit further apart on this one. Pattern options, we're going to do face plus outline or you can do stroke only. So I push play, it'll look something like that. Style is set to waves, you can do zigzags. So if I push play, it'll kind of create a zigzag effect over this whole entire uh, preset. Uh, this will change depending on the preset you have. So Brighton will make it a lot brighter as you can see. This honestly looks the best on an outline uh, neon preset. So it looks like that. Uh, I'm gonna turn that off though for now. And background here, we're gonna turn the blur all the way off. So if I push play, it'll look something like that. Super clean of an effect. And then the last one here is going to be this really cool kind of Mercedes Benz text, text plus line accent 17. And we're going to drag that right above where we want that to be. All right, so this is what the uh, text plus line accent 17 will look like once it's rendered. So if I push play, it'll look like that. Super cool as it flickers and kind of creates this really cool, almost like a pulsating neon effect. So we're going to change the title of that. We're going to change the text to Mercedes Benz. There you go. Perfect. And then we're going to change the color of this. So stroke color, we're going to change that to cyan blue. And then we're going to change the purple color to a different one. So we're going to go with pink here. We're going to go to pattern options. Styles is set to stripes. We're going to, we're going to do checkerboard one. Line options is set to 27. If we do 31, this will change the shape. So we can do 36. So we're going to go option 41, uh, but you can try out different options here. Accent, you can do under the text or you can do over. This will give you a different look. We're going to go under for now. You can change the width of this so you can have it really thick for the stroke here or you can have it really thin like that. Really interesting uh, plugin to say the least. I mean, you can use this on music videos, you can use this on vlogs, you can use this on uh, travel videos and so on. Just try it out for yourself. Link in the description. Be sure to use my coupon code KingPixelPro to save a little bit. If you guys did enjoy this video, consider leaving a like and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on a video like this. Until then, take care.